Hi, this is Sibelius Tutorials again back with another video. My name is Josh and I'll be explaining how to record into Sibelius using FlexaTime with only my QWERTY keyboard on the Mac operating system. To get started, here I have an empty piano score. To record into Sibelius using FlexaTime with only your QWERTY keyboard, your QWERTY input needs to be toggled on. In Sibelius, go to the View ribbon tab and over to the right, under Panels, Check the box next to the keyboard to toggle on the keyboard panel. You can also toggle the keyboard panel using the keyboard shortcut, Command Option B. Once the keyboard panel is showing, click on the QWERTY input as shown here. With this highlighted, you will notice the keyboard has grayed out all of the keys except for an octave. This octave represents the keys on the keyboard. So A represents a C note, W, C sharp or D flat, S, the D note, and so on. When I try to play, you will notice when I hold on to a key, it will repeat the note. This is because key repeat may be turned on on your Mac operating system. To disable key repeat, go to System Preferences, Keyboard, and in here, drag the key repeat slider over to the left until it is turned off. Back in Sibelius, when I now try to hold on to a note, it will no longer repeat. This will help us when recording in using FlexaTime. Now, let's go ahead and go to the Play tab, select where you want to start recording, and hit the Record button. I can now easily play into Sibelius using FlexaTime and only the QWERTY keyboard. If you accidentally record into the wrong voice, you can highlight your recorded material and move it back to voice 1 from your keypad. To change which octave you are playing in on, when the QWERTY input is on, your keys Z and X act as the octave up and down toggle for the bass clef. I need to go down two octaves. Now, let's select our measure and record in again. You will notice sometimes when you record in using FlexaTime, the notes may not be displaying correctly. This can be because it has not been quantized. Remember, Renotate Performance and Sibelius can be your friend in this matter. Simply select the music passage, go to the Note Input ribbon, FlexaTime, and Renotate Performance. In this window, set your minimum duration and click OK. Thanks again for tuning into Sibelius. I hope you may have found this tutorial helpful as this can cancel out needing to bring a MIDI controller when you are traveling or simply help your workflow when working in Sibelius. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and tune in every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern for new tutorials and tips for Avid Sibelius. Take care.